all right? Because what they want to do in this problem is we want to find the equation of this line. And so far, the only way we've learned how to write an equation is what we call y equals mx plus b. And this is what we call slope-intercept form, all right? So if they ask you to put something in slope-intercept form, this is the form that they're going to use. And the reason why we call it slope-intercept form is because m represents our slope and b represents our y-intercept. So we've already spent an extensive amount of time finding the slope of a line and also finding the y-intercept of a line. Remember, the y-intercept of a line is where a graph crosses the y-axis, right? So I look at here and I say, well, what is my y-axis? Obviously, it's there. So then I look, where does this line cross my y-axis? So crosses right there. What is my y value at that point? You say negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. So I can say the y-intercept is, is when y equals negative 3. Make sense? Okay. The next thing we need to do is we need to find the slope. Now remember, to find the slope, we need to find the change in the y values between two points. So I take a look at these two points. This is the y-intercept, which could also be rewritten as 0, comma, negative 3. So there's a couple ways you guys could do this. The first way you could do this is just use your graph and count, right? You could say, well, how far do I need to go up to get to my next point? You could say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So remember, slope is your change in y over change in x. So therefore, to get from one point to the next, I had to go up 6. So I went up 6, then how far over do I have to go? Well, 1, 2, 3. And then I can reduce 6 thirds to write me as 2 over 1, or 2. All right. The other way you could do it, remember, was the slope formula? Was y2 minus y1 all over x2 minus x1? Do you guys remember that formula? Where you take your y values and you subtract them from each other? So here, um, did I count that over four? One, two, three. Yep. One, two, three. Oh, that's not four, that's three. So really, this is five thirds, isn't it? My bad. So five thirds we cannot reduce. Um, one, two, three, and then I went up three, up three. My intercept is at negative three. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's still six. I just wrote it down wrong. My bad. Okay. All right. I counted right, but I wrote down the wrong coordinate point. So therefore, if I want to go and find the slope now, you can subtract your two y values. Do um, negative three minus three, and then zero minus three. Negative 3 minus 3 is going to give you a negative 6 over negative 3, still equals a positive 2. Either way, once I know what my slope is and I know what my y-intercept is, all I do now is I plug them into the formula y equals mx plus b. And instead of writing m, I'm going to write my new slope, which is 2 over 1 times x plus what is my new y-intercept? Negative 3. Then, I don't really like writing plus a negative 3, or if I can reduce my fraction to a whole number, I will. So my final answer is y equals 2x minus 3. All right, so that's what you guys are going to be doing for the next 20 minutes. Do you guys think you can get that started? Okay.